and welcome everybody to today's edition of Mako News Network's Breaking News. I'm your host, Safiro Fierro. Remember to follow us on all of our social networks and to catch us every day by logging onto our website, MexicoNewsNetwork.com, for relevant stories and news. Let's begin with today's show. For the first time in the history of Mexico, a huge social and democratic experiment is in the making. Mexico City is asking its nearly 9 million residents to raise their voice and help draft a new constitution through social media. It is not only up unprecedented in this country, but it has hardly been seen anywhere else and in a lower scale of drafts. This may sound far-fetched as citizens are being able to rewrite the Constitution based on what they feel is needed the most. But it's an experiment in democracy that, is, that truly represents how technology is a key component. Perfect for the 21st century, using change.org to petition for issues to be included in the Constitution. If they gather more than 10,000 signatures, they get to make their case in person. According to Mexico City's mayor, Miguel Angel Mancera, the goal is to bestow the Constitution project with a democratic, progressive, inclusive, civic and plural character. This experiment is a big test for people's empowerment as a society. Digital public constitution not only exercises democracy, but also freedom of speech and involvement in our country's needs and well-being. Plus, it's being watched worldwide. In just three weeks, Change.org has collected more than 200 petitions signed by more than 10,000 people. There is a drafting committee encouraging citizens to participate, which they can do in different ways. Even if they don't have internet access, 300 kiosks have been set up around the city with staff to help you in this process. In other headlines, in Mexico there are many startups that have slowly been gaining national recognition and are ready to seek a more global market. According to experts, many of these Mexican companies have sufficient maturity to enter foreign markets. However, many are focused on meeting the demands of people living in Mexico, so they need to change their strategy to reach other countries. Nacho Mateo, investment director of Spain Startup, said during his visit to Mexico that the country has all the ingredients to be the next big ecosystem. However, for, it is time that these startups take a more global vision. Spain Startup is a Spain-based organization which aims to bring together companies, investors and entrepreneurs and the director visited Mexico to meet national startup in order to bring them to the South Summit, considered one of the most important events in entrepreneurship in Europe. On the other hand, the National Entrepreneur Institute also seeks to export companies so has prepared a fund of 25 million pesos in order to incubate and accelerate Mexican entrepreneurs in other countries. The South Summit will be held in October in Madrid and companies like Google and Facebook as well as various investment funds will gather there to listen, learn, support the new projects that exist. Moving on, the Scottish company Chivas Regal is currently sponsoring the event The Venture, which aims to find the best project of social entrepreneurship in the world. The contest seeks to reward and support those who want to generate a positive impact on society through their startups. And Mexican Roberto Alvarado is participating with his project Optic Group Itch. According to its website, Grupo Optical Itch is the only eco-friendly Mexican company producing lens frames and its mission is to create the best experience in the use of corrective and solar lenses with avant-garde models at lower costs and with the active participation of the partners. Alvarado's project focuses on the manufacture of frames made from recycled pet material from which they are able to develop frames at a very low cost but at the same time very resistant with the objective of helping those who need to wear glasses but do not have the resources. To learn more about the project you can enter the webpage grupoitch.weebly.com. Taco Guru is the ideal tool to help you find the best taco in town. With this search platform, you'll be able to locate the nearest taco establishments along with reviews and tips about the tacos themselves and their location. 
This Monterey-based Mexican startup has created the perfect combination of taco lovers, taco places, technology and business. It is officially the world's biggest taco platform. It connects millions of users with thousands of taco places in fast and direct way. At the palm of your hand, what could be handier than that? This app unites users with the same interests, enjoying the abundance of the taco business. As a publicity tool, there's nothing better, given it creates a very interactive connection between the establishment and the client, thanks to the comments, ratings they give to the venue, the food, and allowing the establishment to continue its growth. Taco lovers in Mexico and in some cities of the U.S. like Texas, California, and Arizona have helped make this project grow. They help in a very straightforward and fun way. You visit the taco place, take their basic information, take pictures of the tacos, and send all of your findings to the Guru's email, and he'll pay you for your help in introducing him to new, his new establishment for this base data. It is a deal that benefits and satisfies both. Lastly, in economics, the Mexico peso increased 0.21% to 18.49 on Monday from 18.45 in the previous trading session. The peso gained 19.88% during the last 12 months from 15.42 in May of 2015. On the other hand, Mexico IPC index increased 0.20% to 46,132 on Friday from 46,040 in the previous trading session. Mexico IPC index gained 3.20% during the last 12 months from 44,703.62 points in May of 2015. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm your host, Safiro Fierro. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and to log on to MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.